Dave Fryer. Welcome to Leading Agile Sound Notes. Jessica Wolf and Derek Keith are here. We just recorded a podcast, but now we're going to do another one really fast. It's going to be sort of a quick lightning round kind of a podcast with a question I am really tired of answering in class because I'm lazy and I'm cranky and I'm old. So, are you ready? Yes. I hope yes. so. What's the difference between Scrum and Kanban? <laughs> Jessica first, then Derek, then me. They solve different problems. Just one. Okay, that's good. We're going to go around. Everybody gets one answer. Derek, go ahead. One thing. Um, Kanban originated with Taichi Ono, Toyota Production Systems. Scrum originated with Jeff Sullivan and Ken Schwaber. That's okay, one thing. I'm going to try to give them something they can actually... Oh, something use. helpful? We're going to keep going around until we get Sorry, it that's an Agile yeah, Fundamentals so, uh, question. <laughs> so, uh, Kanban does not have time boxes. It's an ongoing thing. Jessica, your turn now. Um, focus. Yeah, focus. sorry, my dog just came over here and he never does. He's like, Jessica, come here. Okay, so focus on flow versus uh, being predictable. There you go. Okay. Damn, she stole my, my answer. Um, focus on flow first, focus on blocker second. Yeah. And limit your work in process. Limit your whip. Visualize your work, limit your whip. All right, Derek, send it around the other direction. It's your turn, Jessica. Push versus pull. What does that mean? So with Scrum, we're kind of pushing it through. We're Kanban, we're pulling it through. Uh, you don't have a product owner or a Scrum master on a Kanban team. Everybody's just swarming on the work. Yeah. My turn? Yes. Uh, Kanban is more iterate driven and Scrum is more plan driven. Well, what I mean by okay. that is Kanban, if uh, like production support, works great with Kanban because you don't know what tomorrow is going to give you. Uh, whereas Scrum works well in a plan driven environment where we might be looking at weeks or months of uh, plans that we want to see realized. Okay. All right. You're petting your dog, right? Because your arm's jiggling up and down. Oh. And you're really weird. <laughs> Are you telling me I need to lose weight with the jiggle? No, no, no. no, no. no. I'm just kidding at all. Oh my God, we're worried, we're worried about, about your, your hip, hip, not your weight. I no, know. You're always shaking. And I'm yeah. like, either she's got, you know, a thing or... <laughs> so at nighttime, it's his, like, mommy time. He's ridiculous. But, um, so anyway, um, where were we at? Oh, yeah. So with Kanban, you start with where you are. You respect the uh, current roles, responsibilities, and process, and you just make it visible. Uh, where with Scrum, we are actually doing Scrum. It's a hard switch, yeah. Um, and one of the things you want to, you, you talked about flow, so we want to pay attention to cycle time, which isn't something that I would see people worrying about as much in Scrum. But in Kanban, put the focus on finding the waste in the system, figuring out which waste you can remove and which waste needs to remain in the system for it to have a healthy flow, and you can track the queue time. So rather than worrying about when will this thing be done, it's if it's at this point, how long is it on average to get to the other end of the cycle? So I'm, I'm going to throw one on you that is going to make your mind go. <sighs> so I've used Kanban to help optimize my Scrum process before. I knew, mind blown. So because you're solving you different to, problems. Wait, wait, ready, ready. I'm going to be all improv. Tell me more. <laughs> Tell me more. So Scrum follows what it follows, right? So still there is a process that people take when they are moving work through Scrum, right? You're still going to do everything that you do in Scrum, but there may be more things that we want to make visible to understand uh, where our bottlenecks are, to understand where our blockers are, and minimize work in progress in certain areas. For instance, um, let's say in our Scrum process that we, I know, Archer, um, Damn maybe, it. maybe you guys will meet Archer one day on this podcast. Um, so, uh, for instance, when you have a team, you start with work to do and progress. She doesn't not. even. Ha she doesn't even have a dog. No. I no, do. I it's, it's like I'm a chomp. Oh my goodness! Anybody who knows me Her knows that I'm Archer Fan. Her dog from Canada. <laughs> Archer's the best. Um, but anyway, so that in progress sometimes gets broken up in actually multiple steps. Where maybe you okay. have um, your uh, developer first working on it. Um, 
then from there there's somebody doing code review then from there maybe you actually have uh your qa engineer writing tests or you guys write tests maybe you want to break up some of those spots to see where your bottlenecks are to see where things are actually boiling up um ready for accepted if things are boiling up there if you want to add a wait queue um before it's actually accepted from from there you can do that um also the process of and this is something we do at leading agile the process of getting the work ready we use kanban to go into the scrum team so a lot of times what i've done in the past oh, wow. is saying okay for our stories we want to reduce our cycle time within the sprint to three to four days okay. so looking at using kanban and flow-based metrics reducing the time it takes for one story in that two-week time box wow that's pretty cool. It's, I think it's neat because one of the things I like about Kanban is that it's, it's a different focus, right? Where Scrum, we're just trying to get stuff done and learn from it. It seems to me like Kanban's a lot more of this meta-level focus on what choices are we making, how are we making them, how do we be, kind of optimize the way we work. I'm done with that. Okay, you've been pretty quiet for a few minutes, Derek, so do you want to add some value here? Okay, so one last thing, we'll talk about uh, visual management systems or visual control systems. Yeah. Information radiators. Um, with Kanban, it's all about visual indicators or something that will provoke an emotional response. And so okay. if, if you want to think of a, uh, an, it, one, one thing would be like a uh, cumulative flow diagram that shows you the okay. progression of work moving through the system. Whereas within Scrum, you're going to see the burn down chart or you might have a velocity diagram. Okay. okay, so that's good. No, I was I was thinking of a follow up question, okay. Derek. <laughs> um, all right, so this will be the last question okay. on this. So all the stuff that we've all said, um, it all sounds like Kanban's really awesome. And when I first read David Anderson's book, I was already a CST, and I'm reading the book thinking, why the hell does anybody do Scrum? This looks so much easier and so much better. Can, do you each have something, like a reason why you would tell somebody do Scrum instead of Kanban? Yeah. Okay. So I believe, um, this is, I'm not trying to in insult the world, but most people are, I, don't, I wouldn't say lazy, but I would say that they rise to the occasion when they are put under pressure or when there is, okay. or there is a, a very short-term goal, actually. You know, Dan, so Dan Pink just wrote a book, and you actually recommended that I, I re read the book. Yes. And we do really great at the beginning. When we have a, a goal, we do really great at the beginning, and we do great at the end. But we have this lull in the middle where we slow yeah. down, and you have to be disciplined. If you are using Kanban within your team, you have to be disciplined on having work continuously flow through the system versus a younger team, a less experienced or less disciplined team, I think works well with short sprints uh, okay. because they have less time, less of that lull happening. And I do think that they respond well to a deadline. I think there's a sense of okay. urgency and I think they do better. Okay, Jessica? I agree with everything he said. I'll add some more, <laughs> right? I'm very happy he, he did that. So I'm going to um, say one of the smells that happens all the time. People don't have a well-groomed backlog, so they want to switch to Kanban because they can't do sprint planning. They can't plan two weeks work of, or worth of work. I yeah. would, I'm going to argue that with Kanban, you need an even better defined backlog. You need to be disciplined about your, your, your flow through the system. Um, that is a horrible reason to switch to Kanban, and it doesn't solve the problems of having a well-defined backlog. That's your problem. You're still going to have the same problem. You're still going to have okay. people saying, what, what am I supposed to be working on? Just like you do with Scrum. Yeah. Don't switch because of that, especially when you have a new team who isn't disciplined. They should still do Scrum. So it's interesting. The things that you both said kind of speak to the, the reason that I like Scrum is because I'm a project manager. I mean, my brain's wired that way. Happened a long time ago, it's never gone away. And I like the order, and I like the discipline, and I like the structure. It's all very 
soothing to me, which might sound stupid, but in the middle of that stressful work, you know, that time packed container that we're trying to get stuff done in, um, I need those boundaries. I need the difference in the roles. I need to know that I can stay focused on stuff and I only have to worry about this and that there's going to be an end. Like that continuous flow to me would be a little bit grating after a while. It would be like delivering mail. It's just never, there's never a break. Yep. Um, which maybe there isn't, but I like having the borders so I can mark the time. Well, you would really like applying Kanban to Scrum then. Because you're you're really, the whole entire point of Kanban is optimize your system, stress it out, and then optimize it again. Like you really want to find the stresses of your system and keep optimizing those. So if our system is Scrum, let's find the stress of the system, and then optimize it. We have to make it visible in order to do that. So the cool thing about Kanban is you're starting with where you are. You're starting with your current right. roles and responsibilities, and if that's Scrum, start with where you are. That's awesome. Cool. All right, thank you both for doing this. I really appreciate it. And if you've got any questions, stuff you want answered, just send it to, you can send it to me, dave.prior at leadingagile.com. If you want on Twitter, I'm Mr. Sungo. It's M-R-S-U-N-G-O. Uh, Jessica, what if they want to get in touch with you? At the Jessica Wolf for Twitter, uh, jessica.wolf at leadingagile.com. All right, and Derek? And I'm at Derek Ether, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn. And Snapchat. Yeah, I'm not doing the Snapchat. Even the, though the Kardashians, days. oh, you bailed on it, you're like a Kardashian. Yeah, yeah, that's what just I did. Walk away yeah, it was the Kardashians. The, Damn. They in, influenced me. I just forget Snapchat <laughs> exists. I'll remember here and there and then put a whole bunch of stuff on there and then like forget for two months. I just don't go on there it. You go. All right, well, thank you both. Have a lovely evening, and uh, I hope you get to spend some time with Archer. So sorry for taking up his time. <laughs>